Today is the 23rd of July, and after meeting some of the crew of uh, HMS Protector, which is in port here, uh, we've been invited uh, last night by uh, uh, Petty Officer Mitchell to come over and take a look at his ship and get a bit of a tour, so hopefully that'll work out. Hello. Oh, looking for the officer of the day? Yeah, sure. Are they expecting you? Uh, actually, we were uh, told by uh, the DSC-1 P.O. Mitchell that uh, oh, yeah. when we met him last night that we might like to see uh, uh, a Hi. bit of the ship. Sure, okay. Officer of the day, Please come on. Oh, thank you. Uh, so we've got a few visitors onto the ship. We've been asked, um, or been they were offered uh, a little bit of the ship. Do you want to come and meet them? Go out. Is this okay? Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
careful with all the no, no, sailors, right? But yeah, there's also trash. Yeah, yeah we've, got, we've got a smaller version of that on, yeah. on board our sure. boat, too. Okay. No filming to the left. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is the bridge, is it? Yeah, this is the bridge. Oh, this is what I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you've got also the main part of the bridge. I'll show you up there in a minute. But this is the common smooth PC suite dynamic positioning. Oh, yeah. And so with this, I mean, the ship's got two forward thrusters, two aft thrusters, the propeller, and an azimuth drive, which drops down to 360 degree propulsion. Oh, wow. And so with those, uh, with all the sensors putting your inputs in, this will put your inputs out to all the propulsion and it'll keep the ship in the same, same position. Mm. Within, within three meters at sea state four. Mm. And do you, need it, do you need that kind of uh, precision? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so oh, okay, good. right. Especially yeah. in the ice, you can. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can, you know, like, keep the ship There's no issues videotaping any of this? Oh, the no, I already asked. Five, yeah, there's this big equipment over there, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, the stuff, the like stuff. I was looking nervous. <laughs> nah, like yeah, that's good. So yeah, out on deck. Obviously got your main cargo hatches there, which is the hold beneath mm. uh, the main deck for your stores and support. But this one is a uh, survey motorboat. Oh, okay. That's it's the ship's one? primary it's a survey motorboat. Oh, okay. So it's a ship's primary it's weapon, so to speak. Mm. Okay. Do you guys have guns on board? Only for close and protection. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, just on the other deck of the that's, it looks like a, that other boat. Oh, yeah. That's, that's looks like a yeah, I've got one on there. Something? That's a, a ramped boat. So that's okay. kind of, it's like a little landing craft. It's got a ramp that comes down so we can drop heavy kit and personnel off onto the beaches hmm. oh, okay. and survey teams. Yeah. These are obviously a helicopter pad. The yeah, it's right at the top. Yeah, we don't have a helicopter on board, but for emergencies we do have a helipad there. And then these inflatables here, these ribs are for divers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then just behind the crane, there's a little crash boat that we use when we're in warmer waters and I'll show you back out behind the funnel there's a oh. hardened rescue boat for in the ice pack. Oh okay. Oh, so okay. you've got a fiberglass rib and then a, a hardened hmm. boat. Okay, very nice. So this is all a marine crane here then is it? Yeah you've got this yeah. main crane there and there's another one uh, back out as well, okay. a slightly smaller one. And is that for just moving these boats or um, for other end? No, boats are on the dab, so these ones are going with the crane also for getting all the kit out of the hold. Oh, okay. Because yeah. you go down one hole and then you've got another hole underneath that. Uh -huh. So you can open all the hatches up and go, go right down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, because we do have British survey teams, mm -hmm. uh, civilian survey teams on board, we have to comply with civilian uh, MCA and Lloyd's requirements, hence. That's why you have this. We have lifeboats, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Navy ships, they have lifeboats. They don't? They don't? Oh, okay. They have life rafts. Okay. Um, the large ships have what's called a MES system, which is on an upper deck. You just start that off and it will go out, drop a chute down and deflate four life rafts at the bottom and you just dive down the chute. Okay. Um, but being a civilian ship and having civilian have passengers, have we have to comply with them. So that's. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so we have to have a uh, lifeboats, yeah. Interesting. And then we have a crash boat as well. But, yeah, because these hold 60 people, don't they? Yes. Yeah, yeah there it is. At sea, there's roughly about 50 crew on board, and you can get more than one. Get Obviously, you double up on everything. Um, around me at the as well, so mm. pretty well covered. Well, I've been on enough cruise ships where I've seen yeah. these, so. I mean, this being an icebreaker, I mean, previous ships I've been on, and just like normal ships, um, the hull's only about 5, 6 mil thick. This thing, it's uh, I think it's about 48, 49 mil. Really? It's, wow. Because it's an icebreaker. Yeah. Um, and that's from water like down. It's just like all, all icebreakers are. Um, so, yeah, this thing's pretty indestructible from the water like down. Mm. And uh, what we call the red wrist, so it will crash. So, so every the water line, and then when it goes forward, the crash zone comes up. So, this oh. is mm. yeah, any, any icebergs hit well. Okay. Um, the engine bay's got worn through pipes, the fuel tank's got worn through pipes, it's a hardened hull. Um, obviously, you've got all the 
extremities or the survey uh, equipment coming out to the guys you have to buy out for that. Oh, okay. They can't be retracted, obviously. No, no, no. So it's twin-engine jet mode. I mean, you could probably get about 40 knots out of it, but because of the survey gear, we limit the throttle. We actually physically limit the throttle. Leaves themselves that can't go ah. eight knots. Okay. Just to keep, just to save up the survey kit. Hmm. And I didn't realise when I came on board that the kit on the ship and on there is the best of all. Back of survey to 12,000 metres. Hmm. Huh? Which is quite a deep yeah. small boat, yeah. 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 So, yeah, so you've got your divers' boats there. Um, you have a team of divers on board when we go down the ice to do the beach records and things like that. So, yeah. Um, whenever this boat goes through the ice, what I'm told is the survey boat will go ahead of us just to take the thickness of the ice and mm -hmm. things like that to make sure this one's going. Out of all the kit on board, this is, you'll find one of these on every Navy ship. Mm -hmm. Pacific, Pacific 22 rescue boat. Okay. Uh, like I say, it's five glass holes, so that's what we use to the waters away from the ice. And then just up here. We've got that on the orange right there, that's the FRC, fast rescue craft, that's hard, hard steel, so that will be in our stacks. So we need to switch over to the rescue craft. Depending on which weather, where you are. Mm. And then, yeah, that's the uh, ramp load. So yeah. we go when we do beach landing to drop troops or drop troops and try to go back to 12 or something. We've got scientists up on the beach and that one. You can get heavy gear to stay on the floor. Is this the same as the same? Yeah, they're both the same, yeah. But with um, one of the things with the survey teams, the, as part of the Antarctic retreat, you're not allowed to leave any sign that you were there. So we'll send a team ashore for a few days. And they have to bring all the rubbish, everything off with them. So that's when that one goes ashore as well to take all the take rubbish, everything. Ev everything. Mm. Sometimes you do, from what the older guys have said, it does feel like you're uh, just a rubbish boat. Uh. You go down there to pick up everyone's rubbish to clear the site and bring, them, bring everything back, which has to be done, yeah. obviously, because yeah. it's, it's Antarctica. So. When we sailed from Darwin, we uh, went through uh, uh, Christmas Island and Cocos Keeling, and oh, yeah. neither place will accept any garbage off the boats. Yeah, yeah. So we yes. had a lot of garbage, yeah, and maggots and the whole bit, <laughs> nothing you can do about it. No, you've got to keep on board. So we have got a, an incinerator on board, which we do manage to burn mm -hmm. certain types of rubbish. We can't obviously get rid of it, we can't burn everything, but... Mm. Well, that would, yeah, because that was the first time, that was a good four weeks where we had to burn everything with us. So even though you can keep your garbage down, you just can't... Yeah. You know. Well, do you guys want to go up on the flight deck then? Sure. So we'll yeah. Okay, thanks. Mind your head on, on this one there. Yeah, be very careful up here because we've got a mess of down. Yeah. Yeah, it's much feet up here. Yeah. Yeah, like the, um, the old ice patrol ship Endurance. It was built with, it had a hang of two helicopters, uh, mm -hmm. links, especially adapted Antarctic Lynxes, which were brilliant for all the survey teams, uh, being able to go further mm -hmm. inland. We got this ship as an interim. The flight deck was actually above the bridge, forward of the bridge, uh, with no hangers. They moved it back here for, okay. huh? I think it just looked wrong having the helipad above the bridge. Um, but obviously we haven't got a hangar on board, so we've lost that capability. Yeah, we saw an Australian uh, ship that had the hangar up over the yeah. top, and it looks really bizarre. It's so <laughs> it tall at the front. I, know, I, don't, I, I think it was just more aesthetically pleasing to put the, <laughs> the just move the whole thing back here. Yeah. Like I say, it is a big capability loss not having the uh, having the flight on board, but mm. what can you do? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't carry a helicopter with you, then? No, 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 no. We've got a um, train flight crew, a uh, deck crew on board, the land helos. We can fuel helos up. Okay. We just can't keep them on board. So, uh, in case of a medical emergency, things like that, we can get an uh, ambulance helicopter come in and also we can land them with the crew on board. Mm. Yeah. Well, 
Well, thank you very much for, for this right, tour. That's all right, guys. That's all right. Yeah, I don't want to take too much time here, but I wanted to give you this. A little... Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's just like this one. Oh, thank you. It's been... <laughs> It's been hanging around for a while, but, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. but it's been washed. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Uh, what, what's that? It's a gun mount. You asked oh. how do we have weapons before? Yeah. Only um, GPMGs, mini guns, for police protection. But when we go down Antarctica, because of the Antarctic Treaty, they all get stowed and locked away. Oh, um, so they don't want any. Uh... No, 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 no offensive, aggressive posture. So oh, okay. All weapons go. I think we've got a dispensation to carry them, but they are. Locked in a magazine, so you're not allowed to bring them out. Interesting. Uh, like I might say, Antarctica is a neutral territory. Yeah. Neutral area. Yeah. Okay. So do you survey all the rest of it as an ownership of weapons? I think no, no, so that's the case. Okay. They may only ever come out of uh, entering and leaving harbour. Okay. Um, we're going to work that down. That's just a protection of what the USS Coles are being installed as. So that's a big provision of training of the new harbour, the new harbour. Okay. I'm gonna to have to uh, dash from duty today. Yes, yeah, here. Thank, thank, thank you, you very much. Effort. I wish I thought no I would have got you something. Yeah, no, no. This was what you were giving us. Oh, All right. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I'll uh, keep on with that. Thank you. Right. And, um, okay. Safe trip back. Thank you. Thank you.